aliens invading Miami are going viral. Eight to ten feet tall. An alien sighting in that. Eight to ten foot aliens. Shadowy aliens. This is where the alien was, right, right here behind me. Ten feet tall, and now I'm there, right where the aliens were. I'm gonna talk to people that were here, talk to the police. I need to figure out if there's enough evidence to prove that these ten feet tall aliens could actually exist. Have you guys seen the aliens here? No, they have seen no aliens. I think they're real. They're, well, you got issues. Give me your evidence, yo. We gotta find these aliens. So the first step in figuring out what was really going on was to find and talk to people who were there and see if they saw anything or had any theories. And basically to answer two questions. What was caught on camera and why were so many police there? Hey, excuse me, were you here when like the alien stuff happened? The, the aliens, they're here. You, that's, <laughs> bro, he has the alien. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think something actually happened or you bro, don't believe in this? a lot of, bro, don't believe that everything you see on the internet, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have the alien with me. Come, I'll show you something. <laughs> How's everyone have these pictures? A friend of mine that living in Texas sent me this. Oh. Yeah, that's why we're here, we just went over there. I couldn't tell if he believed or not though. I asked him and he was like, don't believe that, but then he was like, Check what my friend sent me. So, I don't know, I just wanna find one person who was here who was like, I saw it. That's the craziest thing I think we could find. I, so I was working here and they closed this restaurant just because there was so many like, be, like police. Oh shit. They Wait, you were here when it happened? Yeah. Do you guys believe they're real? No, dude, I, I, li <laughs> I live here. So there's like theories that it was like distraction from us to like not to pay attention on the list, you know? Okay. Oh, I actually, I heard that. That's a valid theory, bro. I actually kind of believe that the most. It was to distract people from Epstein's list. Oh, really? Because it came out like the same day. I don't know why. There was like a mob, I think. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, I think it was like a tall Russian man. A tall, <laughs> a tall Russian man? Yo, we haven't heard that theory before. Like someone was saying like, they were like putting that out to like distract people from Epstein's list getting dropped. What do you, you think that? Yeah. But, <laughs> I don't know, but I think it was just a tall Russian. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna scratch that one off the theory list. Supposedly it is, it's not an alien, it's a demon, guys. Oh, shit. So now we're just kids f***ing around, throwing fireworks at each other. Those are pre two pretty different things. Yeah, well... What do you, what do you personally think personally it is? Personally speaking, yeah. people were drugged the f*** out. Don't Valid. I'm gonna do the murky next to you saw me. Like, you know, uh, I know like it, or I don't know. Not English thing. Not English or Spanish. Yeah, like it was story for me, you know. We had honestly heard every theory possible at this point. I mean, this one guy alone had three different theories. So I had to take matters into my own hands. And I went to investigate the area where the creature was seen to see if we would find any clues. All right, so we left and we came back, but this time with a black light. So this thing will show you urine, blood, any foreign liquid, like alien juice. This is literally like exactly where the alien was. We don't know yet. Could have been something else. So if we see something that maybe something like a message is here, like, what's up guys? It's me, the alien. I'm chilling. Um, maybe it's Howard, the alien. So anything glowing is what we're looking for. Anything glowing. Literally, like it was seen on these stairs, whatever people saw. I don't know, if I was an alien, what would I write here? We are coming to invade you. <laughs> On, and then put like some date like far in the future. That's what I'm always thinking, bro. What if, what if we literally met aliens already and we just got our memory wiped? Like men in black stuff or what? Yeah, yeah, like men in black. You didn't see anything. You're just watching your favorite YouTuber. Oh, you just hit that subscribe button and you're just gonna watch the rest of my videos now. It was getting late and I was slowly losing my mind. So I turned to my last resort, TikTok, where after a lot of research, I found one person who posted this video. I was actually at the mall in Miami when all those police showed up and I'm here to tell you right now, the story that the mainstream media is putting out is not the real story. This is the only person I could really find that actually claimed to see them and have a crazy story. So I'm just gonna see what he says. Yo, how's it going, man? Hey, man, how are you? I saw a little bit of the TikTok, but I just wanted to hear uh, your story. Uh, before I start the story, I just want to remind you that it's kind of traumatic, so, so I'm going to tell it. Um, I'm at the Foot Locker, and I'm, I have a size shoe next to me that's a little bit too big, but I did that on purpose so I can get the guy to go to the back and give me a different size. And I hear a commotion outside the store. And then 
that's when I heard this screech, man. That was sounded like nothing I'd ever heard before. Like, I mean, I, uh, I used that as an opportunity, as a distraction, to run out of the store. Because at this point, for anybody, everyone's like, "What the heck?" You yeah, know? yeah. I take the box of shoes, man, and I, I run out of the store and I run towards the commotion. Now, you know, I didn't know what the threat level was, but me just being like a naturally explorative guy, you know. I'm gonna run to it, and of course the, the guy at the at the Foot Locker, he's behind me and he's saying, "Hey, stop! You know, stop! I'm gonna call the police." And uh, I see something that looks like, man, if I had better words to describe it, I would. But just you know, with, with my traumatic memory, it's just so hard to explain because I've never seen nothing like it before, and I can't see nothing like it again. But so, so you did see aliens. I saw what was a wisp or thought of an alien. I've ingested DMT before. That's the only thing I can really compare it to. Wow, wow. Well, he didn't have any clothes on, Gavin. I mean, yeah, I don't know how he, how he would wear clothes. I'm gonna keep talking to people and try to figure this out more. Hey, anytime, man. If you got any questions, you know where to find me. I appreciate you. Absolutely. You think that guy was for real? <laughs> I somehow feel like we're even farther from um, figuring this out. All right, honestly, a lot of the people we talked to were yapping. I honestly don't think any of them actually saw it, but who did see it was the police. All those police cars there. That literally, it was right next to their car in the video. So we're gonna go to, to the police station to confront them. This is the place. This is the place we get answers. All the donut places were closed. <laughs> we couldn't get the cops any donuts. Can you shut the? F hey, I'm making a video about like the alien alien situation at uh, the Bayside Marketplace. Were you there by chance? Do you know anyone that was? Because there was like just like a ton of cops there, so we're trying to figure it out. Uh, he wasn't there. Please. Okay, bro, that was every single cop in Miami. Do you know about that? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen it on the news, but I didn't hear anything about it. Yeah, do you know why there were, like, so many cop cars there, though? I have no idea. All right. <laughs> Tell me that's not a little weird that he has no idea about it. You guys know anything about that? Nothing, man. There's no such thing as that fake news, man. Fake news? Why fake. were there so many cops there? Fake news, man. Fake news? Yeah. You don't believe in aliens at all? No, I didn't say that, but we were there. It's fake news. Okay. Oh, you were there. Yeah. No aliens. No, no ten aliens. foot. No, okay, no. I think we I figured it out. None that we saw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. All right. Thank you guys. Have a nice night. You too. Based off all the information I got talking to workers, apparent eyewitnesses, the police, I didn't really get a clear answer. But I honestly didn't see anything that convinced me that there were aliens or any other creatures. And I don't know if I believe these two people. I think it was just some teens shooting off fireworks, like the cops kind of said. And why were there so many police cars? Well, sometime that night we saw six cops for one single guy that was causing trouble. So maybe it does make sense why there were so many cops, but I do think it is weird how the news immediately went with aliens, showing this terrible android footage that obviously no one can really tell what it is, and also that the cops were extremely reluctant to tell me anything, most of them saying they didn't know what was happening, which I don't believe. So I do think it's very possible that it was some sort of distraction or cover-up, but that's just my theory. What do you guys think?